And we are also learning more about the timeline of what happened Sunday morning. News 6's Eric Von Anken joins us now with the new information. And Eric, this really explains and breaks down a lot. It does, Ginger, because remember, Orlando's police chief is taking some criticism for how he responded to the massacre for waiting three hours to end it. Well, now we're finding out he didn't wait. His officers engaged Mateen twice, just minutes apart. City police officer working in full uniform. He responded to the shots fired right away, exchanged gunfire with the suspect. Our pretty, officer, pretty much right away. Right away. Uh, so our officer was outgunned. He only had a handgun. The suspect had a long gun, a rifle. Chief John Mina says that's when the lone officer called for backup, and as soon as they got there, the small group of three or four officers charged Mateen a second time. There was no waiting. So they went in right away, exchanged gunfire with the suspect within those first few minutes, and that's important because this caused the suspect to stop shooting and retreat mm. to the bathroom where he was now isolated and contained. From that point on until 5 o'clock in the morning, there were no shots fired. In the hours between the first shots and the final shots, police didn't have and weren't getting a clear picture of who Mateen was. Only now, through school records, Facebook postings, tips, and a thorough investigation, does the FBI know that Mateen meticulously planned out his mass murder. The Senate Committee on Homeland Security just sent this letter to the FBI asking if Disney contacted the FBI about Mateen's visit with his family to Disney World back in April. And if Facebook ever contacted the FBI after Mateen searches for information on terrorists. And if the FBI ever put Mateen's family members under surveillance during their investigation. And I also got a hold, guys, of Mateen's school records that show behavioral problems. And this here, his application for law enforcement when he applied to the academy. And some of the boxes that he checked, guys, on this application, definitely here, there were red flags. I'll go over this in detail when I see you guys again at 6. Right, fascinating as we try to figure out what kind of person could possibly do something like this. It's coming this. together. Yep. All right, Eric, thank you. Thank you.